All right, so this Boss Steel Blades exclusive knife thoughts video is going to be on this knife. And this is the Great Eastern Cutlery Farm and Field Tool number 71 Sudbuster. So this is a new take on the number 71 pattern from Great Eastern Cutlery, which previously they have made their bull nose. And so what this is, is it's really a sod buster. And that's where that name sod buster comes from. So this is a sod buster pattern, but they've added a bottle opener to make it the sod buster as in suds as in beer. And so it's something that I think a lot of people were really excited about. It was a little bit of a surprise because it combines two really cool things. So this Farm and Field Tool brand from Gradation Color, it's one of their in-house brands, and it's really their more kind of practical and budget-friendly brand. So you can see here on the tube, there's a picture of a farm, and then also a picture of a you know guy hunting. And so the knives on this brand are really, you know, more so, I would say, than the other brands from Great Eastern Cutlery, so Tidiot Cutlery, Northfield, and GEC, are made to be used. So they're, you know, a little bit less expensive normally than comparable, you know, knives on the other brands, and they are built in a way that makes them, you know, suited for use. So, for example, the number 71 has what's called a bird's eye pivot here. So you can see the F and F for farm and field. And that means that there's a collar that the pin, the pivot pin, is peened into. So that it's a little bit more secure versus something that just has the pivot pin pinned into a bolster. So it gives it a little bit more security on the pivot itself. And then the other thing is that they typically have simple cover uh, materials and are often shadow uh, patterns, which means that there's no bolster. So just a nice simple cover and are usually a little thicker in the covers themselves. So they're knives that have that really great quality that Great Eastern, great Eastern Cutlery knives have, but are a little bit more made to work, made to use. So I appreciate that. And then the other thing that this knife has, along with the practicality, is the fun side of a bottle opener. So you can see it has a bottle opener and a screwdriver or pry bar. And, you know, it's something that a lot of people like knives with bottle openers. Now, I personally don't have a whole, whole lot of use for bottle openers, but I think that they're pretty cool. So I think that it's a fun combination of work, you know, so you can use this really classic sod buster pattern knife get a full day's work done cutting you know whatever outdoorsy agricultural hunting tasks you want to say like cutting um twine off of bales of hay or you know skinning the bird that you harvested or you know whatever types of outdoorsy tasks you can definitely do it with this very classic drop point style blade that you have and this very comfortable handle and then once you're done with your full day's work you can go home and have yourself a couple beverages and so it's really fun and i think they did it really well also so the great thing about this pattern is that you can pinch this blade open even though it does have the secondary blade in front so i've talked about in some of my videos about how i prefer pen or secondary blades to be in the back so that it doesn't interfere with accessing the main blade but just because of the nature of the pattern here, where it turns upward towards the butt of the handle and the blade shape of the main blade, you can still definitely pinch that main blade open without you know, having any trouble of that bottle opener being in the way. Not that you can't also fully access that nail nick, but on a user knife like this, a knife that you know I think is made to be used, it's nice to be able to pinch the blade all open also. So I do appreciate that. And then the bottle opener on this is made really well. I actually uh, did get a chance to use um, my example of the Sudbuster here <clears throat> to open some, some caps, and I think it works really well. So I wanted to give you some comparisons to some other uh, bottle openers that GEC has made. So here is the Sudbuster, and here is the very classic Beer Scout 
you can see that the Beer Scouts bottle opener is a little bit more dainty. It has a little bit smaller opening there. The screwdriver part is a little bit thinner. And you know, that's because the 15 is a smaller pattern. So you can see that. And then here is a more recent bottle opener that GEC has done, which is the number 35. This version is the Wiki Ute Camp Knife, but they did the Johnny on the spot. You can see that it's a little shorter, but a little wider. So, you know, just some different variations. And then they also, of course, did the beer and sausage, which is a bottle opener on a fork. And then also recently the beer low, which is your bottle opener on the blade itself. So this kind of emphasizes one thing that I have heard, you know, not only one or two people say, which is that it seems like Bill Howard of GEC wants to put a bottle opener on every knife. And uh, there definitely have been a good number of bottle openers added to knives recently and throughout GEC's history. And, you know, it's not something that I'm complaining about. I think that it's cool. Like I say, even though I don't really use them all that often, I still think that it's something that can be appreciated. You know, it doesn't hurt to have an extra tool on your knife and a bottle opener is something that sometimes you need. And, you know, it definitely doesn't hurt to have a screwdriver slash pry bar. Now, one thing I'll say is that I think that the Farm and Field, the Sudbuster is better suited for actually using the screwdriver end of the bottle opener than these other knives. And the reason for that is again, because of that bird's eye pivot. So rather than just being, you know, pinned into the bolster, that bird's eye pivot should be a little bit more secure if you do need to, you know, use this as a screwdriver or prying. But even still, I would suggest holding it by the blade. So see how I'm holding it by the blade instead of holding it by the handle. Not that you can't hold it by the handle and it'll probably be fine. I would just, you know, suggest holding it like that. But I really like GEC's number 71 pattern. I want to show you a comparison between the Sudbuster, which is a two-bladed knife, and the normal Bullnose. So the Bullnose is the normal version of the 71. This is an older one from 2018. But you can see that the Bullnose is not too much thicker than the Sudbuster. And the reason for that is even though the Sudbuster does have relatively thick covers compared to, you know, normal GECs and traditional knives, the Sudbuster's covers are actually thinned down a good bit compared to the normal Bullnose. Now that's at least in the case of this orange Delrin version of the Bullnose. So that's one thing to be aware of on this is even though this is a two-bladed, you know, tool, two-bladed knife, whatever, it's not too much thicker than the normal bullnose. So you get more utility, even if you don't use, you know, a bottle opener all that much, in about the same package. And then I also wanted to give you a comparison, a size comparison, to the classic Case Sodbuster Jr. Now Case's Sodbuster, the full-size Sodbuster, is closer in size to GEC's bull buster which is the number 21 pattern and is the the larger of the two so cases sod buster jr is closer in size to the gec number 71 but as you can see the case sod buster jr is smaller than the gec number 71 bullnose or sud buster and you can also see that they have a little bit of a different blade shape and a little bit of a different handle shape the GEC is a little bit more bulbous towards the butt end of the handle and actually a little thinner towards the pivot end. And the blade has a little bit less abrupt of a belly. So I really do like the 71 pattern as a knife. And I think that the, you know, the bottle opener just kind of adds to it. And I appreciate as usual that GEC throws in some extra things like this pretty cool etch. So you can see it says Sudbuster and actually shows a bottle being opened by this knife. And the knife also came with a pin that has the same graphic. So I think that's pretty cool. I think that it's a good knife for using. And honestly, this type of knife that is kind of novelty, but also very practical, I think tends to become a collector item also. So of course, things that are real fancy that GEC makes 
are collector items. But I think things like these that probably more people will use and kind of take them out of circulation of the collector market and, you know, beat them up a little bit, I think they tend to become collectible also. So while this definitely has practical appeal, I think it does have that collector appeal also. So I've enjoyed getting to check this one out. This one is from Jewel of Bostil Blades Personal Collection. Um, so again, make sure you subscribe to the channel here, subscribe to my channel, check out Boss Steel Blades and Knife Thoughts on social media, and last but not least, as always, don't forget to go out and do good.